so I am here walking through the botanical gardens on a Sunday which I'm gonna show you guys some monuments that are here so this is the monument for when the Queen of the UK came here um, in 2012 that's February the 27th 2012 the Queen of the UK came here and they made this monument for her so this monument is for the soldiers that sacrificed their life for Grenada so they make this big beautiful monument for them here with a cross on top I love it it's it's really beautiful this monument here is my favorite monument um, this monument is for Nelson Mandela he came to Grenada in 2004 that's May the first and second in 2004 he came to Grenada I love Nelson Mandela because he is a true idol because he helped with the apartheid in South Africa he helped end the apartheid in South Africa and he's a really big thing in the black world so this is it guys so this lovely statue here is for Eric Gary Grenada father of independence they have a lovely statue here with him actually it's it's metallic so go up and it's metallic this is very long lasting guys <laughs> and it's a beautiful setting they have here it's very beautiful wow and it only it showcased the the, the nature of all, all, all the country um, build around nature and incorporate nature in their in their everyday life so it's a really lovely statue guys here's the name around here let's just <laughs> check it out I don't get it wrong um, see Sir Eric Gary Botanical Gardens so this is Sir Eric Gary guys so this is through Tantine area. Oh, look at those big fishes. These fishes are huge. Because of the light, you guys won't see them. But they have really big fishes in the water. I wonder. Oh, here's one right here. You see them They're swimming away. Even under the, the bridge here. Over here is Tom CC. Let me get the name up here. Here is it. T.A. Marshall Community College, Grenada, West Indies. Here you go, guys. I'm just to video anyone. So they have a game going on over here. I guess it's a football game. Hmm. You have other more fishes in the water. So a football game going on here. So this wall was painted a couple months ago guys. I don't quite know the, the artist that did it, but he did a really good job. It's beautiful. I fell in love with it the second I saw it. Over here we're just gonna look at some some writings that's over here. See Batkin at here we go guys. Then you have some more writings around here.
the artist did a really good job so I'm going up there all the way up to the top so this right here was done a couple months ago it's supposed to depict the carnage which you could see in the detail what it was trying to do it's it's quite lovely it's quite lovely you guys so guys this is the carnage this is one of my favorite views in Grenada the carnage right before you reach town well they say it's not a part of town some people say that but I just think everything is town but I don't have any say in it um, it's beautiful I love to see the colors it reminds me of the mid-century in Europe even your the, 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 the bell I love it a lot of people is around having fun doing their thing here you have the fire station and the police station right here it's lovely It's lovely guys. Here you have the solar lights. Um, on holidays, I mostly see it on holidays, independence and uh, um, sometimes, like even Christmas, these lights turn on and it's beautiful. It just lights up the entire carnage. I should come on here at night and let you guys see it. It's just breathtaking. It's beautiful in every way it's possible. That's it you guys. Here is a spice mass ban. I think this right here is called fantasy of color. Well, I shouldn't say I think because I'm looking at it right now and I see the name. <laughs> and here we have another abandoned building. I just think all these buildings should be restored because they're in a really beautiful spot. Beautiful guys, well the sun is out. I don't want it to destroy my lens. Um. This is Grenada High Court of Justice here. It's a really beautiful building and beside it you have another rundown building well it looked like it was destroyed i heard people saying that it was destroyed in an hurricane that that hit the country and one of the and one more of these buildings contributing to why grenada is one of the most iconic capitals in the caribbean so this is Carinage down that end you can see Granans from that end so this statue here is for a boat or a ship that was burnt in the Carinage in, in 1961 here it is guys so this is Sendel Tunnel guys where cars always drive through I get so freaking scared <laughs> when I'm supposed to go through this tunnel your road. so I am over here and the cars are over here oh my gosh so this is a step on the hill to go up god no this is the perfect step for you to run on when you want to exercise 
here is a little area that you can sit and look out. Here's another abandoned building up here. Iconic. I love it. So I have to walk, go up these stairs. Uh, oh, oh. No, so I'm tired. I'm tired already, I'm just start walk. It's not normal. Uh. The wall, huh? this wall was... So this wall was erected to honor the members that played a part in, in the development of St. George's. So here are all the name, names guys. So this is where I usually come to look out guys. Look at the beautiful view of St. George. It's a lovely view, isn't it? Wow, I just can't get enough of it. I just love it. Mm, down here you have like gardens, gardens everywhere, beautiful flowers, lush greenery. Wow, I love it. So we're now heading into Fort George. That was built in 1706. We're heading up by St. We're heading up by the fort. So over that side is Port Louis, Port Louis Marina, then you have Grenada Port right here, and then you have Ta -da, the most beautiful, colorful capital in the entire Caribbean, St. George's. I just love this view. I just love it. Look at it. Oh, that, that, that area. That's the new parliament. You can't quite see it from here. Oh, you can see it from a different angle, but not this angle. Here is a church. A church that was damaged by the storm also. Oh, I just love it. It's just so iconic and colorful and greenery. So you have three iconic churches here. So you have the Presbyterian Church here. That's one that I showed you earlier that was damaged by the storm. Then you have the Catholic over that side. And then that one is the Andecan right here. Right below it you have um a bank so you guys this is st george's grenada one of the most beautiful capitals in the caribbean you guys should totally come check it out grenada is just beautiful as you guys can see beautiful beautiful everywhere greenery lush colorful i love it still at st george guys wow look at that view Look at that view. That's beautiful. This is the Caribbean, guys. This is what makes all of us so warm and friendly. When you have views and temperature like this, anything is possible in the Caribbean. So guys, this is on the other side of the fort. We're at the same fort. Down here you have the hospital. Over that section is Granite's. That's where you have Granite's Beach. Famous Granite's Beach. And here you have a boat going in. It's a party boat, the Rum Runner. It's epic. I just love it, guys. So here are the lights 
the lights are on people thank god i love to see the lights the lights are beautiful and and what makes it so beautiful is because it's around the entire coronage it's around the entire coronage guys it's just so beautiful for you to be walking on the side of the coronage seeing all these lights being close to the water yeah